Hello and welcome here, the Innate Gamer, with the possibly best silver squad I've ever played with on FIFA 13. Um, it is so good. There's power, there's pace, there's skills, there's finishing, there's beastly defenders. It is so, so, so good. So let's start, you know, from the back. Everyone starts from the front. Let's start from the back. We've got Aluskis, who is a Russian League Lithuanian. We've got that Lithuanian link. Wehey. Hey. But um, anyway, so he's not in the right formation. Actually, what I want to do is, I'll, I'll do that after. He's not in the right formation because he's only about uh, like 500 coins or something. But I couldn't get one in a 4-3-3. And so I just bought him in a 4-3-2-1 or something like that. So, you know, that's fine. But really, really good. Pulls up some fantastic saves. With that 80 reflexes, he is an all-round beast. He pulls off those amazing saves. And I just love him. And he makes this hybrid possible with the uh, Lithuanian link to the SPL. So, like, the SPL side. And then the Russian League Brazil side. And then back to sort of Liga BBVA over here. Which is a really nice hybrid. So, let's start with my uh, left back. Is a gear rate. He costs about 15k, I think. 80 pace, 74 defending, 71 uh, heading, 70 dribbling, 72 passing. All round, absolutely fantastic. He bombs forward, he sprints back. Just fantastic. This is a really, really solid, solid defence. And I would recommend you do uh, try this team out. So, so, so good. And now we've got our Zalu La Zalukas. 71 pace, 72 defending, 72 heading. So just great all-round stats. Just, uh, you know, he's there. Nothing special, but nothing bad. He's a fantastic defender, though. With these, with this back four, I, you know, I don't concede much. They bomb forward, they help out, they overlap. So sometimes it can be a bit annoying because I might be left with only two at the back. But... You know, with the midfield I do, they're more than happy to sit back. So let's now look at uh, probably the best defender here. We've got Mr. Zelau, 73 pace, 71 defending, 81 heading. He wins every single header. He is so, 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 so good. He wins every header, he clears it, he scores, he defends, and he really complements um, Zelukas. Between them, they're a really nice partnership because Zalukas is probably the better tackler of the two. So he goes forward, he steps in, makes that tackle. And if they try to, like, you know, LBY pass, you know, chip it over this head, uh, Zalau is over and he just nods it to one of my left backs or right backs who then go launch an attack. Really, really fun to play with. Uh, and then we've got Sassinio, 85 pace. We all know about Sassinio from last year. Great attacking, just fantastic, fantastic player. We know about, we don't need to talk about him anymore. You probably know about him. All attack, not great defence, but that doesn't matter. And then probably the star midfielder, um, in terms of cost, certainly. Look at those stats, 80 pace. You know about Juicele. Come on, eight, 74 passing, 75 dribbling, 72 defending, 70 heading. Just an absolute rock in the midfield. I love playing with this guy. I remember I picked him up at the start of FIFA. Because I really wanted to use him because I'd heard so much about him and I really enjoyed him. And I thought, you know what, I saw this squad and I thought, you know what, we're going to use him again. And then the man who sort of links it up in the middle, we've got Taul. And, you know, not as good stats as uh, Mr. Jusile here, but 82 pace, 76 dribbling, does a job. He's decent with FIFA, as much as we'd probably hate to admit it. You know, FIFA's about pace this year, so 82 pace, he can do a job. And probably the most underrated centre midfielder. Cost me about 3k in a 4-3-3. 80 pace, 74 passing, 75 dribbling, 74 heading, 76 heading. Pretty much the same stats as Jusile, apart from the shooting. And costs 50-60k less. I mean, why would you not pick up this guy? He is so, so good. He does everything as well as Jusile, but cheaper. Definitely, if you're going to build an SBL team, pick this guy up. If you... He's quite difficult to work into a hybrid, but you can, and I would definitely, 
try if you can. So and then we've got Sacele Gonzalez. 84 pace is an absolute lie. Feels like 88, 90 pace maybe. He is so, so rapid. Gets past players for fun, shoots and scores. It's just fantastic. And provides a fantastic link with my main man here, El Arabi. Doesn't look great with 78 pace and 74 shooting, but that 86 dribbling really tells. He gets past players for fun, doesn't take any trouble at all, and then he'll finish it for you. And that 78 pace is a lie. Maybe 84, 85 is more like it. Fantastic, fantastic player. Great fun. And Are Orellano, 85 pace, 84 dribbling. So this front three have fantastic dribbling. So they just get past players really easily. And occasionally, you know, you face those silver defenders who aren't fantastic, you know, on their feet. They're not the most mobile, the most uh, athletic. And, you know, you just LT, uh, left trigger, right trigger, or L2, R2 to sort of square up. With these front three, that's a really effective move. And then you just sprint off. So, so effective. These guys, they put in the cross for El Arabi, who has only 68 heading, but he's not a complete. He's not completely bad. He helps out with that head. But these are more, you know, attacking. They run in. They go past players. It's a really fun, fun team to use. This is my main silver team. And then my uh, backup silver team, which you saw in a squad builder yesterday, I think. Really fun to use as well, that team. Go check it out if you haven't. Really great, great team. And it featured Mr. Marco Sal, who was, oh, fantastic. And, yeah, this team, 4-3-3, not my favourite formation. But with a team like this, with plenty of pace and, you know, skill, it's a lot of fun. And with these midfielders, you have great all-round stats. You know, you don't get left with a gap in the midfield. Occasionally, if you have two attacking a midfielder, uh, midfielders, then you have a massive hole and people exploit that and you get countered. And sometimes you have two defensive midfielders and, you know... You've only got these three and they struggle to score. This is a fantastic combination. Tayuli, you know, works his absolute butt off. He just sprints up and down all day. Dusele, you know, in between the two. He he goes forward, he defends, does a bit of both. And Kyle just sort of sits lovely and just backs up and, you know, just everything. He just stops the play. He cuts out counter-attacks before they've even started. These three score. So if you get through this midfield with the pace and the defending, then you then have to face these 70-plus centre-backs, 85-plus pace uh, right-back, and just a really great all-round left-back, and the keeper who's really, really good as well. So do build this team. If you do build a team, leave it in the comments. If you uh, have any silver teams you want me to build, leave it in the comments. Any suggestions? I love. I probably prefer silver teams to gold teams, to be honest. I just find them a lot more fun to play with. So if you want me to build any more, do leave it in the comments. And I will see you all next time.